Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday the 27th of November. Rescuers opt manual drilling after removing stuck auger machine parts in India's Uttarkashi. Won't cling to power, says Bangladesh Prime Minister ahead of general elections. And Sikh devotees across India marks the birth anniversary of their founder, Guru Nanak Dev. And now for all the details. Indian rescuers on Monday moved to manual drilling after removing debris from the auger machine in India's Uttarkashi, where 41 men have been stuck inside for over two weeks. Multiple agencies are working on the rescue efforts, including the Air Force. The trapped men have been getting food, water, light, oxygen and medicines through a narrow pipe, but efforts to dig them a tunnel to bring them out have run into a series of snags. Officials said that evacuating the workers has taken longer than previously hoped, with rescuers encountering several obstacles. We're breaking out the cut ahead, it'll be about another two hours, and then the intention is to do the next nine metres by hand tunnel. And that's, that's the situation at the moment. So. Rescuers had hoped to finish the drilling past weekend, but had to suspend operations after the platform on which the machine was placed was damaged. Authorities have not said what caused the tunnel collapse, but the region is prone to landslides, earthquakes and floods. Smoggy skies and toxic river foam were seen in New Delhi early on Monday as the Indian capital battles its perennial pollution crisis. The air quality index in the city was at 352, putting it in the hazardous category. Drone footage showed toxic foam from sludge and untreated waste tainting stretches of the Yamuna River flowing through the city. In Delhi, pollution is very bad. In the past 3-4 weeks, it was very bad when our UI was at 400-500 in a grievous stage. It was better now, but it was not comfortable. Meanwhile, similar scenes were witnessed in Lahore, where toxic smog has engulfed the region, making it Pakistan's second largest city, topping the list of the world's most polluted cities. The city on Monday held the top spot on a real-time list of the world's most polluted cities, with an air quality index of 353, affecting the health and livelihood of millions of people. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will pay a two-day visit to Dubai this week to attend the World Climate Action Summit at the invitation of the President of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The World Climate Action Summit is the high-level segment of the 28th Conference of Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The Ministry of External Affairs in a statement said that the upcoming visit reflects India's dedication to advancing its climate agenda on the global stage and contributing meaningfully to the dialogue on environmental stability. In addition to participating in the World Climate Action Summit, PM Modi is expected to engage in bilateral meetings with several world leaders attending the event. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina last weekend said that her party will not cling to power by flattering anyone outside the country. Hasina, while addressing Awami League parliamentary board, said that her party is not dependent on others as people of Bangladesh are Awami League's strength. This soil is ours, no whipping from outside will be tolerated, news agency UNB quoted her as saying. Remarks by Hasina come amid media reports suggesting a meeting between the U.S. envoy to Bangladesh and a high-ranking representative of the opposition party. While the U.S. had refuted the claim and has said it only wants free and fair elections conducted in a peaceful manner, Bangladesh has termed it unwarranted. Amit Maldives President Mohammad Moizu repeated calls for removal of India military presence from the island nation. Former President Mohammad Nasheed has said such actions will not benefit the people of Maldives. 
Nasheed, whose party MDP has championed an India first policy, said that the future of the island nation lies with a stronger relationship with India, adding that the new administration should understand its intricacies. For safety and security of Maldives, India is paramount, the former president said. Uh, the new government uh, will follow, I think, a different foreign policy, but I can't see how that can change our relationship with India. Mm -hmm. I do know that there's been some rhetoric on uh, uh, asking Indian troops or Indian uh, personnel in the Maldives uh, to leave, uh, but I don't think uh, that this is a path that the people of the Maldives would benefit. Moizu, who is backed by a coalition leading towards China, had campaigned on altering tiny Indian Ocean archipelago's India First policy, demanding the removal of the Indian military from the country. New Delhi, which has long standing cultural, financial, and security ties with Maldives, denies the allegation of establishing a military presence in the islands. Sikh devotees across India on Monday celebrated the 554th birth anniversary of Sikhism's founder Guru Nanak Dev by taking holy dips and lightning lamps. Take a look. Hundreds of devotees gathered at the famous Golden Temple in India's Amritsar city on Monday to celebrate the 554th birth anniversary of Sikhism founder Guru Nanak Dev. Devotees took holy dips in Sarovar, lit lamps and pondered upon the spiritual leader's life to mark the occasion. Similar scenes were witnessed in Indian capital New Delhi, where devotees gathered since early morning to offer their obeisance on the occasion. हम हर साल गुनानद देवी के बर्थडे पे हमेशा इसी गुरुद्वारे आते हैं सुबह बहुत अच्छा लगता है सबको मनाना चाहिए गुनानद देवी का बर्थडे उनकी बक्शिश उनकी मेहमत सब पे होने चाहिए गुरु नानक देव the first Sikh Guru who was born in Ankhana Sahib on the full moon day in 1469 in the Kartik month of the Hindu calendar which is celebrated as Guru Nanak Jayanti. Sikhism originated with the birth of the first Guru, who was succeeded by nine other spiritual leaders. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.